What y'all think about the brat getting pregnant at 48 years old? <laughs> Such a shame. The tree has withered completely, and the goddess of mana is no more. How could you? Oh, oh, oh. I see you are becoming weaker and weaker without the tree of mana. Understandable that fairies would perish along with the tree since they are born from it. I will now bring havoc and ruin to the world and usher in a new age of darkness with me as the supreme god. <laughs> hey, Ow. No! I won't let you! No! Fairy! <laughs> what a fool! Do you yearn for death that badly? Wait... I remember a fairy that met a similar fate. She was with that silly prince of Balsena and his useless knight. I was caught unaware by the Golden Knight's foolish attack and we both fell. It took me so long to regain my strength, but now... I am the strongest of the gods. No one alive can surpass me. Behold, this is my true form. Never give up. Not without a fight! Not as long as our hero, the Chosen One of the Mana Sword, is here! Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear from the realm. But you should not lose hope. You will be creating a new world for everyone! Don't we already did this. Come! You must stand up and fight! The future is in your hands! Whether you can see us or not, we'll be with you always. So keep fighting! You can't lose! Pitiful! You have no chance! You cannot win without relying on the strength of the Sword of Mana! It is over for you all! Accept oh. defeat! You're wrong! Don't you see? Even without the physical mana sword, as long as the Chosen One is here, the sword that lives in all of our hearts, that we call hope, will never disappear! Silence! I will destroy any sword you wield. You must understand how powerless you are against a supreme god. God. Now, kneel. Whoa! 
You see, fairies are like the seeds of the mana tree. Once they find a worthy person, someone with a pure heart that they trust completely, that fairy can become the new tree and goddess of the mana in the world. To bring that mana, the mana we have lost, back into this realm. I must take the tree's place and sleep here in the sanctuary. It may yet take a thousand years for me to restore all of the mana. But if in a thousand years your descendants still remember the tree of mana, I will awaken. <laughs> I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need as well. But until I am needed in the future, I will remain here, asleep, quietly we'll sleep, protecting man. the world, as this tree. This, this is where we part. Oh. My brave heroes, farewell. May the sword of mana, the one that lives in all your hearts, shine on forever. into the peaceful kingdom it once was. Even though this world no longer has mana power, please, continue to watch over my friends and me on our journey. We will do our best in the coming times. Did all this. And the trouble is, magic depends on mana, which means that without mana in this world, our powers are no more. Who talks so slow? My magic included. Altena will once more be plagued by the terrible cold of the surrounding area. Don't worry, Mother. 
What difference does a little snow make? It's the elements against our people's fiery willpower. Oh, Angela. You're correct. Our people are resourceful enough to withstand the cold even without our magic to lean on. What'd you find? Uh, what are you staring at me for? Is there something on my face? <laughs> it's a secret! Sound. I'm just so, so glad to see you. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you worry, Wendy. Aunt Stella. It's over now. You can tell me when you're ready. You should go to the castle and report back to His Majesty. Sounds like quite the adventure. Your journey was difficult, but it had to be done. Now is not the time for sadness. Loki is alive inside you all. His soul is freed and with you always. Hmm? We do not have the goddess of mana to rely on to keep the world in balance anymore. Don't. Duran. You and your friends will take up the mantle as the new Golden Knights. Valsena will follow where you lead. Future is yours.
I mean, already did this shit. Trials of Mana! 